air pollution is bad for you. And we know that exercise is good for you. But there's this unanswered question of, is exercising in close proximity to traffic enough of a bad thing for you that we should be recommending separating biking lanes from traffic altogether? The challenge with biking in a city is that bikers are breathing heavily in the zone where exhaust is being emitted by motor vehicles. And although motor vehicles have become cleaner over the last 20 or 30 years, uh, they're still not as clean as they need to be, especially when you put people that are exercising right in the close proximity of the exhaust. The primary goal of the study is to develop and deploy new ways of measuring air pollution. What we're doing is measuring both the concentrations of pollution that people encounter as they move around the city, and we're also measuring people's respiration rates, so the liters per minute of air that they're breathing in. And when you multiply those two things together, you get the dose. We have five things that people wear. So they wear a shirt that measures their minute ventilation, and it measures their heart rate including their heart rate variability, so the timing of the beats. And then we ask them to wear two air pollution monitors. And then we ask them to wear a blood pressure monitor that automatically takes a measurement every half hour. And then finally, during the ride, we ask them to log their location using a, a GPS device. We have two years to work out all the bugs and prove that we can make all the measurements that we need to make. Then and only then would we get the green light to go on and do the larger health study. We know from a lot of other previous studies that uh, breathing the tiny little particles that are emitted by motor vehicles, especially diesel vehicles, are of concern because of the fact that those tiny particles get deep into our lungs and they can even be absorbed into our bloodstream and cause health effects in various parts of our body, um, including over the long term if you're exposed you know, for many years to the development of cardiovascular disease of the kind that we see with cigarette smoking. Our goal is to have a phone app that kind of looks like a Google map that um, would optimize a route that um, minimizes exposure, you know, but also trading off against the time that it would take to follow that route so that a person could choose some balance between saving time and saving air pollution exposure. There's nothing else that I've found that makes me as excited as I am to do this. You can't ride roller coasters that give you this feeling. You can't go other places and see anything like this. This is unique to here.